Welcome my dear friends and we are going to take up another problem on motion and try to solve it with whatever learning we have okay so let's let's first read out the question thoroughly two times so on a 120 kilometer track a train travels the first 30 kilometer first 30 kilometer with a uniform speed my friends uniform uniform speed of 30 kilometers per hour okay this is what i got to understand that there is a 120 kilometer track a train is traveling the first 30 kilometers out of those 120 kilometers it is traveling with a uniform speed of 30 kilometers per hour how fast must the train travel the next 90 kilometers so as to average 60 kilometers per hour for the entire trip once again so there's a 120 kilometer track Train travels the first 30 km with a uniform speed of 30 km per hour. How fast must the train travel the next 90 km so as to average 60 km per hour for the entire trip? So clearly, you know, the on the first look of it, it appears to be a problem related to average speed. Okay. So let's try and you know the, what should be the first step? What should be the approach? So average speed problem, but for any problem in physics. I normally recommend that you first have a representative diagram to give a clarity to the mind about whatever you are analyzing. So let's say this is the 120 kilometer track. Okay. So let's say this point is A, this point is B, end point. And for the, you know, uh, convenience sake, we have taken a linear or a straight line. It could be any curvilinear path also doesn't matter because we are talking about speed we are not going to take up the, you know uh, the direction because velocity is not talked about it's only speed so immaterial it is whether you take a straight line or a curved path okay now they say that this is 120 meter 120 kilometers sorry so please also be very very careful about the unit so this is 120 kilometer guys no problem then the first 30 so let's say this is the first point p a p right and let's say this distance is 30 kilometers 30 kilometers and this one automatically becomes 90 kilometers isn't it so the diagram gives gives a lot of clarity now let's say the time taken uh, sir, what do you think do you think the time taken will be same or do we even need time taken but there is no problem in taking some value or some variable as time so let's say this is t1 and this journey takes t2 hours we'll be talking out talking in only in kilometers and hours okay so t1 hours and t2 hours so now the question is how to find out average speed so average speed guys if you recall your knowledge average speed from physics classes you would have learned average speed of any body is nothing but total distance traveled mind the word distance i'm not talking about displacement it is total distance traveled okay so if it was displacement then we have to just take the final and the initial points and the length of the path would become immaterial so total distance traveled since we are talking distance here we have to take the total length of the path and total time taken so let's write physics first and then the problem is reduced only to do mathematics with it. So this is what we have to find out average speed. So if you see, uh, we can write this as V average, right? Is total distance. So what is total distance traveled guys? So 120 kilometers, no doubt about it. Hmm? And divided by T1 plus T2 is the total time in hours, isn't it? So somehow if I find out T1 and T2, my job is done. So can I find T1 and T2? Yes, I can. How? So it's given. What is given? It's given that the first 30 kilometers, it travels with a uniform speed of 30 kilometers per hour. So here, let's say I'm writing V1 as 30 kmph kilometers per hour. And in the second trip, the velocity is not known. That is what we have to find out. That is what we have to find out V2. No, sorry, not average speed. We have to find out V2, isn't it? So V2 has to be found out. Never mind. What else data is there? 60 kilometers per hour is average speed. So we are aware of this quantity. So we can write here V average 
is equal to 60 kilometers per hour right now so if i find out somehow you know uh, an expression which is involving v2 then our job is done so let's try to analyze what these t1 and t2s are what is this t1 and what is t2 what is t1 t1 is time taken to complete ap so let's write ap journey in this journey a to p journey what happens we have v1 is equal to 30 upon t1 isn't it 30 kilometers is the distance traveled and t1 is the time taken so i can tell you t1 is 30 upon v1 and what was v1 my dear friend 30 so 30 is the kilometers divided by 30 kilometers per hour so this is kilometers and kilometers per hour so this is simply one hour so we got to know t1 value is now known so what is t2 guys let's take t2 now so what is t2 if you see t2 similarly so this is pb journey in pb journey p to b journey that is what happens t2 again can be written as 90 is the distance divided by the speed v2 isn't it time is distance by speed always remember let me write it here over here time is distance upon speed okay because speed was distance upon time now if that is so can i you know that's what we have to find out v2 right so let it be like this right now go to equation number one let us say this is equation number one okay so in one if you see what is v average guys 60 given right and on the right hand side so v average is 60 how here is the value here is the value so 60 is 120 upon t1 t1 we just found out it is 1 see t1 is 1 and t2 can i not write t2 as 90 upon v2 and we were supposed to find out v2 so we have got a relationship we'll be able to find it so if you see you take this entity whole to this side and take 60 to this side what will happen you will get just simple cross multiplication will lead to 1 plus 90 by v2 and this is equal to 120 by 60 right just simple manipulation of mathematics we are not doing physics anymore it's only about maths now so this is 2 okay so what do i get from here 90 upon v2 is equal to 2 and then this one if you transpose on the right left right hand side it will become 2 minus 1 right so this will become 90 is equal to 90 by v2 is equal to 1 so from there we can say v2 is equal to 90 and do not forget to mention the units since everything was into kilometers and hours so v2 will be 90 kilometers per hour so with this speed if the train runs on the track for the next 90 kilometers after covering first 30 kilometers at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour then the average would be 60 kilometers hour per hour average speed will be 60 kilometers per hour so i hope you got the solution so what is the learning learning is draw the diagram read the question carefully find the demand of the question go to the basics what you have learned so the concept here was the concept of average speed which was total distance by total time and then whenever the speed is constant you can always write speed is equal to distance upon time these two things we employed here and we got the solution okay so that's how you should approach these problems